Tesla crushed its first quarter earnings report along with seeing its Bitcoin position increase by a billion dollars over the last 90 days. Will we see Fang stocks follow Elon in making big purchases of crypto? Richard, please kick us yeah, off. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you? I would say, you know, I mean, might as well, you know, speculate on some highly uh, volatile assets and hopefully make more on that than you would in selling any cars. Uh, so, you know, if I look at the Fang stocks, I think a lot more are going to consider it. I don't think the Fang stocks will do it, but more and more financial companies, I think, are going to look at the balance sheet and say, if it's big enough, maybe we take a little allocation, put a little bit into that. Uh, and I think, you know, you're going to see more and more companies also making revenue in the form of crypto, right? Sell a car, take your crypto, a lot easier than going to the board and saying, I want to take treasury and put it into speculative assets. Right. More and more companies definitely will be involved. Sarah, your thoughts on the FANG stocks getting involved with uh, Bitcoin, crypto? Any one of the FANG stocks getting into B Bitcoin p could push it over 100K. And I think it's likely... My bet would be on Facebook, which has already developed its own cryptocurrency, but it's been criticized for DM. Um, and some people speculate that Facebook might make a play in Bitcoin to give it more credibility and help them move more quickly in the space. We also do see Amazon hiring a lot of blockchain developers and uh, they could be a next one to make a move to. Yeah, and Diem was formerly known as Libra, which potentially could be launching at the end of the year. Also, Amazon rumored to accept Dogecoin. It might be just a rumor that I made up, who knows? But we're gonna get over to Daniel. Your thoughts on yeah, this? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, with Tesla investing about a billion and a half into, into Bitcoin, you know, if you think about it, Tesla has $19, $19 billion in cash or in cash equivalent. So that's about, eight percent or so and if you think about that in, in in terms of you know fractions that's one twelfth so imagine a month worth of cash right with tesla taking that into an investment that's a significant investment um for tesla taking that lead so you know with if you look at the fang stocks with the exception of netflix they all have about 60 billion dollars plus of of cash so this is a great opportunity for them to go into the space. They're probably not going to do it to the same level of Tesla, but we're going to see more, more, more kind of introduction into the spaces with the other FANG companies. Yeah, absolutely. Tesla sold 10% of their Bitcoin to prove its liquidity versus cash, to be noted. Stash, your thoughts on this? I, I think everyone here is in fantasy land, to be, to be quite honest. I mean, if we look at Tesla as a comp, I mean, they lost $200 billion in market cap and 25% since their, since their Bitcoin investment. Um, and for Tesla, I mean, they saw a large pullback from institutions when they made that investment, which is fine for them since they're, they're branded as a meme stock, right? So you have a lot of retail volume. That's less okay for more traditional equities that hold up 15% of the S&P. You know, tying those, their treasuries directly to Bitcoin volatility. I mean, volatile equities now exposed to volatile assets is kind of like velocity squared in a sense. So I don't think that's the kind of leverage we want in public markets, especially. We got Sarah raising her eyebrows. So uh, did you want to come back to that, Sarah? I just would say never say never. I mean, the, the cryptocurrency uh, market has just begun. And I think that these guys are going to find ways to play because they see it as an opportunity, not just for, uh, for their stock, but in all kinds of ways of doing business.